out of YouTube. Some cool figure reviews today, and that's because we're taking a look at the Mattel 12-inch from Halo 5. We've got Spartan Lock and Master Chief. Two figures which I never knew existed. I've actually had these for quite a while. Received these as a uh, very generous Christmas present from uh, a very close friend of mine. So shout out to Jaron. Uh, two excellent figures. I mean, they've got a ton of articulation and everything from what I can see in the packaging. Uh, again, I had no idea that uh, Halo, I guess, licensed out merchandise to Mattel. Usually we get the McFarlane figures and, and the statues and things like that. But uh, to get uh, something from Mattel is going to be very interesting. In terms of packaging, as you can see, they're very tall, quite big. We've got uh, Spartan Lock on the front and then Master Chief. Two that I was really hoping would battle each other and it would be something really exciting in the game. And uh, I was sadly disappointed. I was not a big fan of Halo 5. For some reason, I just couldn't get into it. I don't know if it's because I've outgrown Halo or because the game just wasn't good. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I'm i a little disappointed. Halo was one of my favorite franchises of all time. Certainly the original trilogy is uh, incredible and amazing. And uh, from there, I think it just sort of went downhill a little bit. Halo 4 wasn't bad, uh, but Halo 5, I don't know, the story with Cortana and the Warden Eternal. The Warden Eternal could have been just one of the best video game villains of all time. And uh, to me, that was a bit of a letdown. But anyway, let's get these guys opened up. And just a quick look at the back of the packaging. Two great shots of the characters. Now, sadly, these are not the actual figures, but uh, some screens from the video game. Still, Spartan Lock... One of the things I loved was the suit. I think the armoured suit looks brilliant. Master Chief as well, you know, it's classic, that retro look. Um, my favourite Master Chief ever is the one that never appears in the game, and that's the um, debut McFarlane figure that has got the big cape and everything like that. The evil Master Chief, which uh, never eventuated. But uh, yeah, two cool looking figures. Let's get them opened up. Okay, and here we've got Locke and Master Chief opened up and out of packaging. These are probably two of my favorite Halo-based merchandise things uh, that I've picked up, uh, or gotten, I should say. Uh, certainly, uh, it's not as detailed as the smaller McFarlane figures, or even the McFarlane statue, which is uh, pretty cool. Make sure you check out my review on that. That's well worth picking up. But they are a lot more articulated, which is certainly really good. I assume just based on the cheaper feel and um, level of detail on these that they would be uh, reasonably priced as well, but again, I don't know exactly how much they are. I'll bring it forward so you guys can take a look at Master Chief. I think they really did a good job with Chief. Certainly looks like uh, he does. It's got the, the correct backpack and everything like that. There's a slot on there where you can uh, clip in the weapon that he comes with and, and all that sort of stuff. There is a, a nice level of detail. It's not a ton but uh, it certainly by no means is, um, you know, really poor. Again, it is made out of a plastic, so it does have a slightly cheaper feel to it. But having said that, it is still really nice. I love the detail on the assault rifle. That's one of my favorite guns in any video game ever. The, the sound of that, uh, there's just something really cool about it. My favorite is in Halo Reach, the... You know, whatever, I think it's like a Navy variant um, of the assault rifle. Just sounds so good. Uh, it's, it's one of the best sounding guns uh, of all time, at least in my view. So yeah, that, that's Master Chief. He's, he's pretty cool. Taking a look at Locke, I think he's a lot better than Master Chief. Just because the, the blue um, color scheme and the helmet, I think, looks like it has a lot more detail too. I'll zoom in so you guys can check that out. Look at that. That is a menacing looking helmet. That's... Really nice. I'll bring in the smaller McFarlane one. You can see actually the detail level on the bigger one is significantly better. Which is very rare. It's not often that that happens, but certainly the, the larger figure of Locke looks a lot more impressive. Um, and that's always very good. Now, um, moving down, you can see obviously some detail there on the chest and everything. I really like the design of Locke. That's one thing... Uh, you know, if you're going to introduce a new Spartan, you have to make him look impressive, and they certainly did a good job with this. As you can see as well, it's got like a metallic-y kind of shine to the figure. It feels very light, that's that's for sure, but uh, again, that comes down to the type of plastic it's made of. Very nice indeed. 
Now, in terms of articulation, there is a lot, which is good. Ball jointed head, ball jointed arms, ball jointed elbows, ball jointed wrists, nothing in the torso, which is a, a bit of a shame, if I'm honest. Ball jointed legs, ball jointed... Oh, no! Nothing in the knees. I thought there was a ball joint there. Damn. And nothing in the ankle. So there's actually no leg articulation. For whatever reason, I thought there was leg articulation. That's a shame, actually. Well, there you go. Ball jointed head and uh, arm movement and some initial leg movement. But uh, all you can do is actually have them straight. Um, you can't bend the knee. Why would you not include a ball joint for the knees? That, to me, is very silly. Very, very silly. Come on, Mattel. Now, lock does obviously come with the battle rifle. That looks great as well. Um... But yeah, I'm actually really upset that there's no leg articulation. That would have been something very easy to include. But again, the price point, I don't know how much these figures will set you back. But um, they definitely do seem a lot cheaper than some of the other ones. But yeah, Locke, again, um, I think is the better of the two. If you can find him, I think he's well worth picking up. The Master Chief's not bad too, by any, any means. If you're a big Master Chief fan, then 100% you want to try and pick him up uh but to me lock is the the best one in the set they've been doing some good merchandise for for lock the smaller mcfarlane figure the bigger statues they've released of him see my reviews on those you'll you'll know that they're great figures as well but i hope you guys have enjoyed this review on the halo 5 mattel 12 inch spartan lock and master chief